So about a month ago, Xiaomi released MIUI 9, which is a newer version of their custom skinned UI. But MIUI 9 is still in beta format. And if you are a Redmi Note 3 user, you might get disappointed because there is no way to test out MIUI 9 on Redmi Note 3. But I got you covered. So welcome to the very first official look at the unofficial MIUI 9 for Redmi Note 3. Hey what's up guys, Bushan here from Adboy the Expert. With that being said, let's get started. Now, FYI, this is not an official MIUI 9 ROM by Xiaomi. This is an unofficial build of the MIUI 9 which includes almost all the features offered by the official MIUI 9 ROM. So the very first thing you need to do in order to flash this ROM is go to the first link in the description down below and flash the ZCXTWRP on your Redmi Note 3. Because the normal TWRP will lead you to a boot loop problem which is not a good thing. After that's done, just find the location where you have downloaded the ROM and flash the ROM like you would do with any other custom ROM. And talking about Google Apps, all the necessary apps are bundled with the ROM itself, so no need to worry about flashing the Google Apps or G Apps package separately. Once the setup is completed, you will be greeted with the home screen of MIUI 9. The very first impressions of the MIUI 9 are, the phone feels much snappier and faster as compared to MIUI 8. Even the icons got a new look, the app load times is reduced by a huge amount as well as all the transitions are much smoother and quicker. Now as MIUI 9 is based on Android N, finally, finally you will be able to use the split screen functionality, which is not yet optimized for all the apps but just gets the job done. You can also double tap the recent app button to jump between recent apps. There is also a new screen recorder included in the ROM, which is always appreciated. And yeah, fingerprint sensor also works flawlessly without any hiccups at all. I must say, MIUI 9 has definitely gone through a workout and Xiaomi has paid attention to all the little details, let it be the icons or let it be the whole smooth optimized user experience. I really think that this unofficial build is really stable to be used on daily basis and it also offers almost all the features offered by the official MIUI 9. So shall I come up with a full review of this ROM or shall I make any separate videos regarding the ROM like top 5 features or top 5 tips and tricks of MIUI 9 of official build for Redmi Note 3? Your opinions really matter a lot. With that being said, I'm Aaron Poitin, and I'll see you